Roberts. My name is Malcolm. I'm a fairly new member. My background is actually in um, uh, operating systems, primarily open VMs, um, and I still do that. Um, however, back in 1983, living in the UK, um, I was just finishing off my A levels, um, and my uh, the rest of my family were immigrating to Australia. And for my 18th birthday, my father presented me with the magical large, at the time, magical ZX81, which was my first experience of using a PC. Yeah, one, one, one yeah. Was basically a computer. You know, micro computer. Yeah, micro you know, computer. I mean, you know, it was the thing at the time. Put it in micro and micro. Um, you know, <laughs> and um, I had done a little bit of programming in my A level days. In various other programming languages, the standard ones. I didn't mention Forth. Somebody mentioned Forth before. Yes, um, I did a bit of that. I think I did one of my A levels using Forth to do some electronic work. But could I do it now? No, probably not. <laughs> I haven't, done, I haven't touched anything like that in, in decades. <laughs> However, um, in the six or eight months after my family left me behind to finish off my A level, I was in a boarding house. Had had this to to keep my um, keep my mind. Uh, moving and yes, I used it for, for that and for about 18 months. I obviously used it when I came to Australia because the power supply has an Aussie plug on the end of it, so I must have I must have converted it. Mm -hmm. um, with this, yes, you could do a reasonable amount, but to do anything really important, you needed the additional 16k RAM pack. Um, and as I mentioned to somebody earlier, in fact, this still has the sticky tape on it that stopped it from wobbling around. But in actual fact, there was an additional enhancement which required a rubber band to go all the way around the outside of this unit to stop it, to hold it in place, because God forbid you're in the middle of something and it wobbled, the whole thing was gone. Um, yes, later today we might try and power it up. It hasn't been, it hasn't been used, I would suggest, since, I'll say, 83, maybe... Yeah, since 1983, it's, it's oh, well, got its original. It's got its original inbox. It, it, it's I've still got all the packaging. Um, I did test the power supply over here. Um, it seems to be producing. Well, somebody else can have a double check. It seems to produce 15 volts, which might be a bit too much. But who knows? Yeah, I might be just reading it wrong. Um, but no, at the time, I I spent my errant evenings um, programming. I I. It uses, used an old cassette tape, so I had a cassette radio, with, and I've, again I've got the, the fittings over there, it's the standard microphone and e-jack that cassette radios had back then, and to store a program you press store, hit record on the, on the tape, and away you went, and to get it back, the reverse sequence, play, load, standard basic type um, scenarios, um, and I spent my, my evenings, and I wrote a game, I spent six months writing this game <laughs> and perfecting it and thought, this is really cool, I've, I've done it, you know, and it was all written basic, and I saved it. And when everything arrived from Australia and I tried to play it back and using exactly the same hardware to reload this game, it wouldn't come back. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> it could still be recoverable, hopefully. It, it, potentially, if I've still got the cassette tape, which again wouldn't have been touched since <laughs> 1980. Or, um, it may not be lost yet. No, it might not be. I mean, you can hear it. And, and I, 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 mean, I remember back then, you used to become attuned to it. It was basically like a, a standard modem squeal. And, and it, would, it would do the lead in, and then it would do the data, and then it would finish. And right at the end, I was, watching, I was watching something, and it's because we have a different hertz rate for our 240 volt power than the UK does. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. I thought it was 50, 50 same hertz. And like, and it, no, it's 50 as opposed to 60 or something. So I literally saw this a week ago. Um, and you can get a, a step up or step down transformer to the different hertz rates. We and you will be able to buy Yeah. Yeah, look, to be honest with you, yeah. I, I just, it was at that point I thought I've wasted, you know. And, and back, back then, you would have, you know, but now you would save it three times on the piece of tape. You'd have a second copy and you'd overwrite one and not the other one. I can't remember how I used to do it back then, but no, got one copy of the tape. Is that is that tape ever is still be usable? Which has probably been sitting in a shed for I'd say it's fine. years. Yeah, you'll, be, tape. you'll be right. Um, but anyway, yeah. So so this was my little. You know, it, it needs a it needs an RF adapter, which and we've got a TV, and we've got so we can try it and see if it will go. Um, 
Yeah. And then the second, I thought in its original box, and I haven't used it since. Okay, that cable is still a membrane. <laughs> well, it's been, it's been it's been sealed been away. Pushing, yeah. You can't get replacements from it. Uh, what are you going to do? Want to do that? Probably not. All mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's 8081 spectrum. All of them. You can feel them. Yeah. So you have to work, as I say, it's been Mostly sealed away in through. its original Every key you touch is not dead. The original <laughs> packaging, there's no evidence of there. nastiness <laughs> in there or dampness or anything like that. So it, it should go... Cheap um, yeah. It's an eBay job. Exactly. Yeah, it worked I when I last the, used it. You didn't have the <laughs> um, thermal printer that used, used to be able to get a little printer which went in here as an adapter, like a freeway adapter for thermal thermal printing. Yeah. So we didn't do that, so so that's that's my whole thing. It, uh, Very simple machines if you open them up and they have look inside. I, I, I it's, it's probably like, did open them up in the day too. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they're like, magnetic for the A, remember? And they had about four chips. On. Yeah, yeah, there's not much in them. No, so you were laying in that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I did. I'm not sure I would have. At, at, at the age of 18, I probably didn't have anything. A screwdriver small enough. I probably had a hammer <laughs> and a large <laughs> screwdriver for bicycle issues, but that was a bad idea. So it's probably never even been opened. Mm. We can, nice we can try and power it up. It's a Sinclair, is it? Yes. Yeah, it's ZX81. It's the yeah, Sinclair, Sinclair ZX81. Yeah. Sinclair it was, is the, it was, the, it was the 40 pounds or something like that. The one that made the, the, yeah, the, the, that came out right. The, the, the PC for the masses or the yeah. computer for the masses. That's right. It fixed the ZX80 shitty screen. Is that right? <laughs> Remember the ZX80 used to, every time you pressed the key, the screen would go. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what this thing has, there, there's, there, there's, there's two modes. So the game that I wrote required some fairly intense computing power to generate the maze in the first place. Mm. And there was a fast and a normal mode. Fast mode basically disabled the um, screen update. Yeah, so, that's what it so, is. Yeah, yeah. So, so you put it in the fast mode, the screen would just go... Yeah. And then it would do its job and bang, and it would flick it back on again. There's an awesome maze in the with the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and I probably had that too. Yeah, yeah, every kid had that. And, and I yeah. and I wrote my own sort of version of it, which wasn't a which wasn't a three. There was a three dimensional one. Yeah, that's the one. That's the, the one. one. The three the crap out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three D monster. Yes, yes. Three monster <laughs> and, that and you it. find it, it'll be like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was all block graphics. Yeah, and it, was it was great. great. And I probably had it. Yeah. And I probably still have it in the tape somewhere. I don't know where that would be. That might be in the shed. In which case, that could be a problem. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely a project. Uh, I want to see if we can get that game right. off that yeah. tape. Yeah, yeah. Right. if yeah. I can find it. Be, it how awesome would it be to find it again and you know, yeah. have, have a look at how bad your code is? You used to, you used to, you know, 16k was there wasn't much no. you know, even back then, and so and because I was doing it in basic, awesome. so I wasn't yeah. doing it in 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 machine language um, because that stuff never really interested me at all. Um, I felt that. Doing it in basic, so there was a whole heap of little hooks and cleverness in even side basic to make it do what it had to do. But sweet. After we finish, we'll yeah, do a bit more check in with the multimeter, multimeter and then Very we'll good. power it up. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.